Hey everyone, welcome back to Melissa's Kitchen Table. Today I am going to show you a really super quick, super easy recipe for a buffalo chicken dip. I'm sure most of you have heard of this, have tried it, um, but this is how I make it. So I just wanted to show you, it's really easy. Now I have two blocks of cream cheese, eight ounces each. So that's a total of 16 ounces. And I forgot to take mine out. So I put them in the microwave for about 30 seconds. And I find it just so much easier to use a hand mixer. All right, to that, I am going to add a three quarters of a cup of Frank's Red Hot, just regular hot sauce, not wing sauce. So this is a quarter cup measure, so I'm gonna add three. You could add a full cup if you guys like it really spicy, which my family does, so I think I'm gonna add a full cup. All right, then to that, I'm gonna add one cup of ranch dressing. Now, I have also had it with blue cheese dressing, and of course you could do that. Uh, but my family, we really like this Marzetti kind. This one's really good, super thick. This is what we like. And obviously, you know, you don't have to be precise. It's pretty much the correct measurement. So, um, this recipe has been around for a really long time. Um, I, we've, oh, I've made this for years, and it's always a favorite. But recently, I haven't been making it because I've been making other kinds, and I keep forgetting about this one. So I said tomorrow is my niece's um, Holy Communion, and she loves this stuff. For a young girl, she loves spicy. So I wanted to make this, because everyone loves it. Now, usually what I do is I get um, two large chicken breasts and I boil, not boil them, I simmer them. Boiling will make them tough. And then I cut them into really small, fine dices. Some people like the canned chicken. I do not like that. Um, let's see what else. Other people will use a rotisserie chicken. That's really good. You could just shred that up, dice that up super quick and easy. But a month or so ago, I had gotten a whole bunch of chicken on sale. And of course I froze it. And this is ground 100% white meat. I won't use ground dark meat and it's a full pound so I said let me try it with that because normally like I said I use the uh, diced chicken so hopefully this comes out just as good this is so seasoned you don't need any salt or pepper um, you could add garlic or onion powder if you like but we really don't now to this you're gonna add some shredded cheddar cheese you're gonna need one and a half cups total I do not measure this I'll, eh, it's about a cup so I reserve half a cup for the top and that's just how I like to do it so what's great to serve this with of course tortilla chips that's always delicious like scoops something like that um, another great is celery sticks who doesn't love buffalo wings with celery you can use carrots you could use anything. You could use crackers. You could use bread. This stuff is so good. You could just use your fingers, really. All right. So I am going to put this in a baking dish. And, of course, you can use a fancy one if you like, but I'm traveling with this. And I don't want my dish to break or anything. So I'm going to put in here. And... I will actually, I'm going to put this in the fridge 
and pop it in the oven tomorrow. So I'm gonna insert a finished picture. Uh, but you'll wanna bake it at 375, probably around 20 minutes or so. You want it nice and golden brown. And the last five minutes, you'll sprinkle the remaining half cup of cheese. I've forgotten before and put it all in at once. Not a big deal. So I will go ahead and insert a clip, a picture of what it looks like after I bake it off and I cook it. Um, but I hope you guys really enjoy this video. This is a really good dip. I really like it. Let me know down below if you like it with the blue cheese or if you like it with the ranch. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up, hit subscribe and share, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.